what's up YouTube land, Eddie Hill, and no, this is not a review, this is my scariest figures video, and I haven't done one since last Halloween, and we will be looking at the monsters from Bionicle through the mid 2000s to 2015. And these are some of the top 10 monsters that will leave you with a fright. <laughs> First, we're going to look at the Bull Rock. And yes, the Bull Rock were pretty scary, if I do say so myself, because they could headbutt you and they could launch masks to control your very mind. Now that's definition of a monster, if I do say so myself. Pretty, pretty interesting. Sorry if I had to correct myself there. That's why he's on number one on this top ten scariest figures. <laughs> and yes, I am going to be using the evil laugh in this video quite a bit. Next on the list, we have the Paraka. And they are some nasty villains. And this ain't the right body he's supposed to have. I think I used it for another figure. But he does still have his light-up gimmick. Look at those red eyes and that mouth that will chill you to the bone. Plus he can blast you. Ain't that evil? I have to find his saw blade. I have it somewhere. It would have made him much more evil if I could find that. But he is at number two. At number three has to go to the Paraki Creeps. And this is one of the three-eyed Paraki Creeps. Look at that red body and those three eyes that will foretell your doom. <laughs> and yes, he is missing some armor. I am really killing it with the evil laughs, ain't I? <laughs> and he will leave you with a fright. That is why he is number three. On our scariest figures. Say goodbye, Paraka. <laughs> Not Paraka, Paraki Creep. Sorry if I had to correct myself. My autism is acting up. At number four, we have from Bionicle The Legend Reborn. And this is that scorpion monster dude. He's got a blaster, a sword, so he could blast you, slice you. And he's got a tail so he can prick you with that tail. Ain't he pretty monstrous, if I do say so myself. And I have his armor off someplace. That is why he is on the list of scariest figures. Because look at that face. That is pure evil. <laughs> And now we're going to look at our figure number five. It would have to go to one of the most gnarliest of the Toa Victorian. And this is that axe-wielding guy. I can't remember his name. But look at that face and those sharp teeth and that big axe. He'd be something to really be afraid of. That is why he is number... Why he is number five on this list. Sorry if I paused for a moment. And goodbye for him. <laughs> and now we're going to look at our... Our number six figure and our number seven and eight... Because these guys like to travel in packs. 
And they are gnarliest of the gnarly of all the Bionicle Universe monsters. And these are the Rakshi, the servants of the Shadowed One, Makuta. <laughs> and yes, they are the baddest of the bad. I don't know all the names of the Rakshi, but they're pretty cool. And plus their staffs had some unique powers, which makes them quite dangerous. And look at those skull heads of theirs. Now they are freaky and scary. They give my dog Thena a few nightmares. <laughs> Sorry if I couldn't help but make a joke. And that's all there is to say for number six, number seven, and number eight. Now we're going to look at our last two figures, and these are from Bionicle 3, Web of Shadows. And here we have the Toa Hordika. We got... I don't know these figures' names, but I know this one. It's Vakama. Sorry if I'm bad with the Legends of Two Metronui Toa names and their Hortika selves. I am just bad with names. Vakama is pretty gnarly from Web of Shadows. Look at those green eyes. Ain't that the a true monster? Man, he was scary in Web of Shadows. And look at those flame shooters. Ain't that pretty gnarly scary? I wouldn't want to run into a Hordika for certain. And that's all there is to say for Fakama at number 9. And finally, we have this guy. He could smash rocks with those big club things. And look at that head sculpt. It's pretty gnarly, if I do say so myself. These are some pretty scary figures, if I do say so myself. And you're probably wondering, why am I doing this video on Halloween? Well, because I always do a video like this on Halloween. It's, it's talking about kicking off Halloween with a real... Scare. <laughs> but that's all there is to say for this video. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.